Hey there everyone, this is Callie. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm sharing a back to school card. It's August and that means everyone is gearing up for their kids to go back to school if you have kids. And I could not be more excited. I mean, I love having them home for the summer and seeing them every day and for longer periods of time, but there are lots of distractions, so I'm ready. Anyway, we have two sets here. One is older and one is from the most recent release. And as you can see, the illustrations are very similar. Um, however, one set has smaller pens, markers, and Copic images than the other. So the one on the right is the older set and the one on the left is a newer set. So it kind of depends on what you're going for for your card. So I'm gonna use a mixture of the two. And just for scale, I wanted to measure these pencils on the camera so you could see the difference. The one on the right on the Take Note set is three and a quarter inches long, and the set on the left called The Right Stuff is four and three quarters inch long. So for my card today, I'm using the large border image from The Right Stuff, which is what I'm stamping now, and then I'll use two images, which is the smaller pencil and the pair of scissors from the Take Note set on the right, which was the older set. So I'm mixing and combining the two because the illustrations are the same and they coordinate so well together to create my background for my card today. So I've stamped my images and I've set that aside. While I have my Misty out, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my background using this Ledger Paper Background Cling Stamp. I am just flipping it so that I can get that vertical line on the right side of my paper there. And I'm using the vertical lines on my Misty grid there to help me line up that vertical line on the stamp to make sure it's all nice and straight. I'm using a light blue ink, this is marine ink, and I'll stamp that one time and I've got a good impression so I don't need a stamp again. But as you can see there, you have nice notebook paper. And you know how on traditional notebook papers, that vertical line is red? Well, I decided to take a red pen, which I love to do this on, ledger paper stamps. And then I'm gonna use a ruler and retrace those vertical lines so that I can get red lines to match and look like real paper. So I have that created. I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna start coloring the images that we stamped. Okay, so I am gonna be speeding this up as usual. There's not much to show. I am coloring simple pencil colors. So I'm doing all the erasers the same, all the metals the same, and I'm using all of the colors cohesively as they go from the silver of those pencil barrels to the blades of the scissors. So I'm using all the same colors and then the bottom border of my card with the pencils is gonna be more colorful. I'm only using two to three colors to blend and it's very simple. If you're interested in any of these Copic color combinations, I know the screen is changing quickly. You can refer back to the coordinating blog post for this video and everything will be listed there. Okay, so moving on to the more colorful part of the coloring, I am coloring all of the pencils down here in rainbow order. So I'm going from red to yellow to green and then teal, blue, and purple, and then back to a pink. Again, super simple coloring. All of my pencils were colored with two markers, except for that very first pink one, where I realized that the spacing there doesn't really accommodate or needs more than two markers to blend. So I am gonna finish up here. I did color that main pencil a teal color, since that other teal one on the bottom border there is so short, and so I just wanted to bring that back out to make it a focal point on my card. And then for these scissors, they kind of reminded me of Cutter B scissors from EK Success. They come in gray and yellow, and I decided to use yellow because it would just stand out more on my card versus another gray. So I am coloring those like Cutter B scissors. All right, so once all of the coloring is done, I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut all my images out. As you can see there, I intentionally left that last pencil hanging off my image uncolored. I knew that I was gonna cut it off, so it wasn't necessary to finish that off. I'm using the Looking Sharp die. This is from the new release, and that's gonna be a sentiment highlight on my card. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna attach that border to the bottom of my card, and then I'm gonna trim it to mat a card base. So I'm cutting off a quarter inch off all of the sides, and as you can see, that's gonna clean up the image that I attached there and cut off that extra pencil that I didn't color. And now I can go ahead and die cut my sentiment. I'm die cutting the shadow in vellum and then the looking sharp sentiment in 
a matte gold cardstock and I'm going to die cut three layers of white also to stack for some dimension. Once I prepared that, I'm going to go ahead and set a weight on it to make sure that it's nice and sturdy and dry while I adhere the other two images on my note card there. So I'm attaching my scissors now using some liquid adhesive as well as this pencil. And then I'll add some liquid adhesive to that looking sharp sentiment as well and attach that right over the pair of scissors and the pencil that's there on the background. Now you can stop here. I decided I wanted a sub sentiment on my card. So I'm going back to the take note set. This is the older set and it's got several sub sentiments on there that are really great. So I am going to emboss a sentiment with white embossing powder over some black cardstock. I'll heat set that and then off camera I'm going to trim it down to size and then attach some foam adhesive on the back here. This is a black foam adhesive strip, super handy for sentiments like this. Then I'll use my little square T ruler there to make sure that is nice and straight on my card. And then I'll attach it to a card base. Again, you can stop here. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and add some white highlights using a white gel pen to add some interest to all of my images. So I'm adding little dots and lines on all of the pencils and erasers and a few areas on the scissors to give it a bit of pop. All right, so that finishes my card. I hope you enjoyed this back to school card. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, be sure to check out the links below where everything will be linked for your convenience. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Bye everyone. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.